First thing I want to say is uh, underscore what I think Jim said earlier and some other people is that you know, your coverage as a journalist of these environmental events is extremely important because that is largely the only way we as citizens and as policymakers uh, and as academics learn about these events and learn the important aspects of these events, the most salient aspects of these events. Every disaster is different. Let me say that again. Every disaster is different, even if it's an oil spill, even if it's a hurricane. Uh, and that's very important. And every disaster is different, even with the Southeast Asian tsunamis, which I worked on, because you had several different countries affected by the tsunami in very different ways, uh, very different levels of both vulnerability and capacity. And I think it's incumbent upon you as a journalist to make those fine distinctions and not overgeneralize too much. As a disaster researcher, I take a very different approach as do many of my colleagues, which I suggest to you might be helpful at times, although I recognize the constraints on your resources. We look at disasters as a continuum. We look at pre-disaster events, the initiating event itself, the recovery period, which or it's not really a recovery period, but it's listed that as in the medium by politicians, which we might be said to be in that phase right now, because we're talking about remediation and dredging. And then we look at the long-term continuum. Now, the long-term continuum for Exxon Valdez, to give you an example, is at least 20 years. So, you know, these stories don't go away. They just move off the front page and they get forgotten. And unfortunately, the consequences for both the environment and human communities are long-lasting. We need to pay attention to them. And one of the things you can do as a journalist is really try to go back again and again and see what the long-term effects may be. Regardless of whether these are natural or unnatural disasters, and to be honest with you, the terminology now in disaster research in all disciplines is all disasters are unnatural. Because whether they were initiated by something seemingly simple as a hurricane or they're initiated by negligence or human error, uh, the way human organizations and politics comes into play that affects the outcome is very important. In fact, here's something you should pay attention to. Very often, the response to disasters and the remediation that's taken can sometimes be more harmful than the initiating event. That's certainly the case in the Exxon Valdez story. It's not just my research that validates that, it's several others. Um, but a key here is the word power. Power is very important. When we look at disasters and why they happen and where they happen and who's most vulnerable and who has the capacity to respond most adequately and who over the long term gets the attention of policymakers and the public and the media, that all has to do with power and who people are. It's a vital ingredient here. We look at the asymmetrical relationships and social organizations and the body politic when we look at these disasters, whether we're working in a capitalist society or a socialist society or a communist society or some other ideology. Um, power is a key element.